Alright, hi everybody, I'm back, yes. I'm back. I'm back from my vacation. Ocean City, Maryland. Um, did a few things. Went to a few nice places to eat and stuff. Of course, that discussion will be later. I'm going to do a live stream tonight. Yeah, live stream. Something new. Something new. Um, I'm going to do a live stream about One Piece chapter that came out this past week that I missed from reviewing and the Bleach chapter. It's just going to be a regular, you know, live stream with just me and uh, Afterthoughts. And I'll talk about my vacation in the live stream as well. Um, and some other things as well. Okay, so that's that. And that's this. History's Strongest Disciple, Kenichi. Um, this was Chapter 530. This one was pretty good at the end. Pretty good. This gets a 4 out of 5. Um, the ending was very good. Yeah, I was like, whoa. Surprise. Plot twist. Um, <clears throat> pretty much this was the Shigure special being completed. Um... And what it also was, was Ayato leaving. He leaves because he has an urgent matter to take care of. And that, that, that's, what we lead, that, that's what leads into the ending of this, of this chapter where he's on this boat. So let's get into it. 5.30, something to pass on. I got, you know, Brenka. Fan service. There <laughs> was some fan service in this one as well. Um, not too much, but enough to say, oh boy, you know? As well, the beginning we got Renka, and you know, she's like doing narration, you know, saying, you know, boy was in love with the girl, a worker in Resident Drive Town. And he's, yeah, Kenichi's in those dungeon style uh, trading mechanisms done by Akisabe. And, um, you know, she, she's talking Akisami, saying, oh, it's really built very well. Saying, yeah. He calls it number 108 uh, training equipment. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. And saying she was saying how, you know, um, um, that uh, machine training, yeah, extreme training machine mark 108, and basically saying that, if the muscles move, don't move in a certain range, he gets shocked by electricity. It's kind of, kind of weird there, but yeah, he gets shocked by electricity. Then, and it's for people who have no limits, who you know, or don't have a pure talent, use this kind of uh, machine. Um, a eagle shows up out of nowhere. I think, um, Miyu calls it Uji, uh, Oji Sama. And the eagle gives Ayato something. And Ayato's saying it's a request for me to help fix the wrongs in this world. And he's like, you know, yes, could be. You know, and then we just see Ayato, man. Yo, Ayato. Fringy Ayato is coming on the cape. He's like, yo, I'm going. He's like, boss. Going and put on his cape thing, and he's going out. So yeah, he's going to a um, thing. He's going out to do some kind of mission. We don't know what it is until the end. You get the gist of what it is at the end. But he's saying he's going to go right the wrongs of the world. You know, and um, we see Mew fixing him up and putting him out. Um, um, and he's like saying uh, that he wants to... Um, our current still allows to do what I can when it, the, you know. And then Mio's saying to him, like, can you propose it this time? And then he says a line. This is just the manga stream translation. And I really didn't like this line. Because I'm like, oh, come on, manga stream. You can't do that shit. Why are you to put that line? And he says, with great power comes great responsibility. I was like, what are you doing? Quoting Spider-Man? Go Ben? But anyway, he says that, and he says that, um, you know, um, when someone cries out for su uh, uh, people who are crying out for suffering, with, 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 we with power must set out to help them, is the way of the Kan Shin Ken. Um, 
and Aki and uh, uh, Kensei saying there, saying, "But leave it to us. Everything here." And he says, "You have my thanks." And he's like saying, "I've been done nothing but relying on you." Uh, and the uh, funny moment with Renka saying, "Why are you coming to Chinatown and stuff and all that bullshit?" And then we just got saying he's then then he's just going out. He says, "I'll be back shortly." And the, uh, Keishi goes and grabs Ryu's in the back, I'll try to hold her, and he gets. Uh, then they, Miyu and Kenichi basically just go over to the Shinpaku Alliance, and apparently, uh, Kishima, um, you know, what's his face? He, he, um, for, ne Nejima, my, my, my mistake, sorry about that. Nejima saying that they have rare guests, um, and apparently it's Shigure and an Apachai. And apparently they're back, give or take, from what they were doing with the, the you know, the blacksmithing, the armor. So they're back, and <laughs> the, the, the funny scene was uh, Miyu goes over to, to say, Shigure, are you all right? And then Shigure, oh my god. Gurry. It's like, come on. Do we really... I mean, that was probably the only bad part of the chapter. That was the only bad part. I'm still giving a 4 out of 5. I mean, Shiguri just takes her sword out and goes... Fish! And... Oh, fan service. Put up the fan service flag. Because that's what happens. That's what happens. She does that. And... Like, rips uh, Miu's clothes to shreds. And she's like, almost naked. Like, seriously. It's like, ah! It was so ridiculous. And, oh, uh, um, what's her face? Um, I forgot her name. The one who's in charge of the Valkyrie saying that, <laughs> I apologize, um, that she, the same fate happened to them. And, 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 um, you know, Skinny, she's just saying, well, is the equipment ready? And so on and so forth. And she's saying, I'm back. Um, and Shigure informs them that, that Apatrae's not going to wake up in the next 24 hours or the next 24 hours, and she informs them that it is ready, it is for you, they open it up, and it's the gauntlets, the arm guards. Now, surprisingly, I thought this was actually going to be a full suit of armor. At first, I thought it was. I, I didn't know it was just going to be arm guards. But then again, it's probably the best best kind of weapon they can use to combat the weapons team. So so they get the arm guards. Now these arm guards are pretty boss. Like, really. Really. Uh, and they're like, oh, it's fantastic. It's a match for all the captains and so on and so forth. And it feels like just like gloves. Now, Shigure and then Kanisha saying, indeed, the armor of this nature is no chance of apparently and exactly harming an ally. To protect everyone, though. And then, Shigure comes out with her sword, and they're like, run! You know, Mio's face and everything. And then she attacks them with her sword. And it's not even... It's like... Even you see sparks fly at, when they're using their hands with the gloves on. And sparks start flying. And I'm like, whoa! And then we got, um... Um... Siegfried. He's saying, oh, it's not cloth. It's steel. Woven. Wo wo woven steel. That's what it's made of. It's not actual cloth. It's, it's metal. Almost like ch chain mail. But very, very tiny. You can barely see it. So that's what was informed, he says. It's not made of cloth. It's woven fibers of metal. Um... And saying that it's just like, you know, a Japanese katana and so on and so forth. And then uh, they're saying it's awesome, you know, and stuff. Um, the next scene is the last scene of this, of this chapter. And this scene was pretty crazy, I have to say. Um, stupid Um, it was... Ayato, and
And apparently, he's on a boat, and he's like saying, the island's right there, and he says, and then you see this guy on the boat, and he's like, yes, the, the, those Yami guys have taken over the island, so the rumors say. Um, he says, Mr. Helmsman, and I was saying to him, Mr. Helmsman, do you really think you could fool me with that level of disguise? And I'm like, huh? I was like, huh? Really? That's, and that's where the chapter ends. And I was like, whoa! What's going on here? Now, I personally think it's Mew's fault. I think so. I can't tell, though. It's too early to say. We'll have to wait until next week to find out, but this is a pretty big-time surprise. Because, I mean, Ayato's already, you know, we found out he was leaving, he was going to this place, he was going to where Yomi's are, the Yomi group is, to obviously fight them, or, you know, whatever this mission entailed. But this guy isn't who he seems? And I'm wondering, like, who is he? Questions loom. I've heard, but personally, I want to say, I want to say Mew's father. Because I can't see it being anyone besides Mew's father. I mean, it could be somebody else. Who knows? But I just, mm, it, it just doesn't seem to be anyone else that I can think of in Kenichi who would be there with Ayato, disguised as a helmsman, on the ship he's on. It cannot be anyone but Mew's father. But tell what you guys think about it. Do you think it's Mew's father? Do you think it's somebody else completely different? Yeah? Pretty interesting thing. Gotta wonder. Gotta wonder. Okay, so yeah, that's the story, people. Kenichi, chapter 530 review. Um... And like I said, live stream tonight. Live stream. No one will join until I'm done going over the Bleach chapter after thoughts and the One Piece chapter after thoughts. And I talk about my vacation a little bit. Then, then, I will invite some people. Because uh, let's be honest, Saturday is like a void. <laughs> void. Jotun still hasn't done any uh, J-Room since God knows when. So I figured might as well do on Saturday seeing as how... Because it, it helps me because now I won't have to do two videos for Bleach One Piece. There'll only be one. You know? Live stream. Better that way. Um, but yeah, that's the story, people. Um, and that's all I got for you guys. Interesting chapter, people. Really interesting. Uh, I can't wait to see what this, what this entails. But I'm on money. Better my money on it. It's Mew's fault. That guy. That guy has to be Mew's father. I can't see it being anybody else. Who else could it be? But, hey, maybe you guys can tell me better. Who do you think it is? Put in the comment section below. Um, nothing else to report. Usual stuff's going to come out. Like I said, the Bleach One Piece live stream. Then there's going to be just, you know, you got Shigeki no Kyojin episode view. And you've got One Piece episode view and Donkanrampa. So, yeah. Yeah, that's the story there. Alright, people, that's all I got for you guys. I'm Bonkai922. I will see you guys later. Ayato is going in. He's going in, people. He's going in. See you.